What's that flying over the clouds, raining blood from the sky? It's Wandering Monster Roll Initiative! Hello once again and welcome to Wandering Monster, America's test table where we don't just uh, play test games, we stress test them. I am Charles R. Bernard. I am John Baldisberger. I'm Mr. Paschke, and with us tonight, I am Kevin. Yeah. And we did screw up the intro this week, Who? everybody. Hey! Winning. <laughs> Question. Um, I, who's Kevin? We've never had Kevin on. Oh, who am I, by the way? Yeah, who is <laughs> that guy? Who and is this guy? Why am I talking instead of him? <laughs> um, we would like to welcome triumphantly uh, John Baltusberger back to the show. Um, as you no doubt see, John is going through some changes right now, but that's okay. Um, going through changes. changes. <laughs> um, and, and tonight, we've got a very, very special treat for you. Um, we had a game not so long ago where we talked about how people might like their hash browns. Well, tonight, you are getting it grizzled, uh, on fire, smothered, covered, destroyed, kicked out a window, possibly blown out of a bazooka at the same time. I don't know. We'll find out because um, superhero culture, while it has uh, experienced something of um, a renaissance or a surge in popularity lately, not nearly enough of it takes things to truly absurd levels. Like, I mean, yeah, you have some ultra violent super shows out there, um, but you don't have very many uh, ultra violent super powered games, especially ones where those superpowers have to do with breaking down traditional systems of authority. Now, who on Lucifer's Black Beach would publish <laughs> such a game? Nay, who would create it? Well, I've got a treat for you. Um, the reason that my dumbass is talking is because tonight John will be acting as GM uh, of a game that he wrote uh, that is available from Madness Heart Games on Kickstarter right now. You can find that link in anything that you found this on, any of our socials, uh, show notes, um, notes on this show on Twitch. Uh, and if that's you know still too much, um, I think it's just tinyurl slash splatter league. Uh, we are playing, is it technically Splatter League Adventures or Splatter League? Splatter League. Welcome to the Splatter League. And what is the Splatter League? Well, why don't we let John tell you all about it? Hello! Years ago, a couple of years ago, I'm in the ancient times, I wrote a story <laughs> called The Crimes and Passions of John Stabberger. And it was a lot of fun. It was about a dude who, uh, pulled knives out of his body and used those knives to stab Nazis. Uh, <laughs> and, and that's my kind of superhero. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. I really wanted to go do more with it. And I was kind of just getting started on game design. And so I designed Splatter League um, to be an over-the-top over system and game. Um, this game, like every game I design, uh, has <laughs> minimal stats. Uh, two in this case, and uh, is designed to ramp up chaos and absurdity as quickly as possible. I wanted to get into the fun of it as quickly as possible. Um, we are playing in something called the Badass Factor System, um, and uh, I, it, it's it's a lot of fun. So the basic mechanic is that uh, these three gentlemen have what's called a badass score. And that is their stat to do stuff. And then they have powers. And they can add that when they're trying to do stuff, if they're using their power. Uh, doing stuff that makes me laugh or go, fuck yeah, <laughs> um, will uh, encourage me to give them a point of badass, letting their score up, go up. And if they fail something or they get punched in the cock, uh, they will lose their badass scores and go down. So badass acts not only as their their like doing stuff stat, but also as their health. Um, there is a third resource called hate that can allow them to kind of uh, survive and and you know because badass is your health and your doing stuff stat. As it goes down, you're more likely to fail. Uh, 
which should encourage you guys to go balls out and uh, <laughs> ramp up chaos. Uh, on that note, I want to point out that uh, for this episode, I clicked the uh, profanity and vulgarity button. <laughs> good the, decision. The drug use and alcohol button. Also a good decision. Okay. And smart move. The violence and gratuitous violence Hell button. Hell fucking yeah, that was a good decision. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, we should probably just have those buttons clicked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't um, know you turned them off ever. I didn't, yeah. They didn't exist. Uh -oh. That's a that's a new thing that Twitch did probably because of us. <laughs> You're welcome, Internet. Yeah. Um, on that note, uh, here's the thing. When Ian runs this show, he reads the module and plans ahead and like understands the stats and the system. Yeah. He's a professional. He is a pro. I like built this. I built this system, and I have the <laughs> cheat sheet here on one screen. Uh, as far as the plan, my wife and I had sushi for dinner and talked about what could well, what would be the loose direction we'd go in two sentences so um <laughs> this is this is actually by design i want to show you how easy it is to just jump into this game and play it um so without further ado welcome to the splatter league who the fuck are our heroes tonight well i'm gonna you know limbo my way to the front of the line and let you guys know about a fellow named smashy the clown Smashy was just a regular ass clown, man. You know, spraying people with seltzer water or sometimes buckets of confetti. Like you never knew like what to expect. Fun loving clown, part of a circus. Circus got bought by a mega circus. Not a good move. All of a sudden I'm surrounded by AI powered robo clowns. And as though that's not enough of a threat to my livelihood, uh, the fucking ringmaster was like, you ought to compete with these robots. You're going to take a 70% pay cut. And uh, otherwise, otherwise, you're fired. And I was like, no, you're fired out of a cannon. And uh, <laughs> with that pure act of mischief, uh, the interdimensional uh, trickster deity that goes by many names, uh, I caught their eye and became imbued with the powers of anarchy and chaos. So uh, I am Smashy the Clown, a grizzled super clown out to sow anarchy. Nice. Oh, and I should tell you what my powers are, because that's part oh, of the system. That is. Um, yeah, yeah. My, my three powers that I picked, uh, and these will be interpreted variously throughout the, the game, are balloon animals, slapstick, and pie throwing. Now, why do I have slapstick and pie throwing? Because one is melee and one is ranged. That's why. <laughs> like Smart. <clears throat> Someone go next. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, oh, you. Uh, ha, um, oh, no, you go. Uh, uh, so uh, let me just explain a few things to you first. <laughs> and the first thing I feel that you have to understand to really get behind what I'm trying to tell you, which is the truth. The government is lying to you. <laughs> Everyone should know that is just <laughs> the way the world works. The government is don't tell you what's actually going on the president and even the real president i know this and you should all know that too i mean it's all black water <laughs> control that's why they invest inside of, of of the corporations and they control the majority stockholders in hollywood they control the majority stockholders and kellogg's cereal that it, it's things that that may or may not be true i have some notes they are written on napkins uh <laughs> There are people that think like me all around the globe, and they also think that the earth is flat because my superpowers are stupidity, uh, <laughs> manipulate, and conspiracy. Those are great. I love it. I so, just like how, how like brutally true some of that was. So. <laughs> <laughs> made me real uncomfortable, y'all. The, the, the I, thing about any good nut job conspiracy theorist is they start off like, yeah, okay, I think you might have what oh, fuck. what yeah. what no um at, you at lost some, me point, Back up. the roller coaster has left the rails yeah, yeah. so <laughs> so this guy that i can only call uh leroy um is mm -hmm. uh he's there like 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 on, a, on the worst day i'm here he's like on the other side 
all the way that way, just drinking the Kool-Aid. And sometimes when he drinks the Kool-Aid enough, that is how the world works. <laughs> if he tells you there are mole men that are here controlling the traffic lights because you cannot just automate that <laughs> simply with microchips and wires and RF signals. What they do is they have the mole men send the signals to make sure that you are late to your dentist appointment. <laughs> and that's 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 why they're mole men. <laughs> Otherwise. That's why my teeth are this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, us, Kevin. well, uh my character's name is uh is Dale Green, but uh uh his uh his friends and family call him chicken liver. Uh this poor boy is uh he's a uh, uh He's the offspring of a, of a truck driver, and uh, as it turns out, well, at least what, what daddy used to tell him was uh, his, his mom was a fucking demon. <laughs> fucking demon. That, that demon woman left you, uh, you know, they, they met up at some dive bar and were, uh, were, were drinking, uh, name, light beers for God knows how long until they blacked daddy. out, and, you know, nine months nine months later... I, I I showed up and then Mama Demon Belly and then she bamfed out and was gone and six <laughs> years later you know Mama shows up on Pappy's uh, uh doorstep with a uh, six year old me hey hey who are you you my dad and uh, she's gone again uh, who knows where the hell she went and uh, well you now Dad being a truck driver he's out on the road all day all week <laughs> for God knows so uh, chicken liver which everyone keeps calling me I don't know why. Um, he had to defend himself, you know, against the bully kids. You know, they're always picking on because his skin's a little yeller, and yeah, uh, you know, he kind of kind of smells of a uh, uh, ash, like like a campfire, but not near a campfire at all. And you know, he's he's worn the same Reba McIntyre T-shirt since uh, <laughs> since birth and all, but um, oh. yeah, <laughs> birth since birth. He's born in that Reba McIntyre shirt. It just he just finally grew into it, and uh, yeah. So uh, he, uh, you know, kind of you know got he got picked on quite a bit. So he had to learn to learn to tough up. And you know, one time one of the schoolyard fights, he uh, you know, the big bully kid Roscoe went to go swing at him and. Old chicken liver bamfed out of the and you know, just disappeared in a puff of ash, campfire ash, and then came up behind him, kicked him right square in the tail. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, chicken liver is kind of a uh, a mix of a like a Joe Dirt meets Nightcrawler sort of thing. Uh, he's got I the teleport, it. uh, he's got that street fighting, and he's got a like an old kitchen knife just in case uh, things get a little <laughs> dicey. So, um, good. So if you're if you're an attorney that represents Marvel Comics, uh, he's saying "bamf" with two "f"s, which is legally it's distinct. B a h m p h. Completely, on, completely legally bom, distinct. Bom, bom. <laughs> All right, um, so we, it was B a h. Yeah. M p h. Oh, p h. P h. Yeah. No, still, I, I, no, go still ahead. an exclamation point. Well, of course, of course. No, and tarot bang. There's an tarot bang. And, and okay. if you are the the lawyers Bam. for um, the Joe Dirt property, uh, he he meant Joe Dirte. It's a Joe Dirte. <laughs> so well, the first question I have to ask: um, this this game is set, or tonight's game, I should say, uh, and the setting in the book is set in on the Texas Louisiana border. Hell oh, yeah! Is that is that what I sound like to y'all? <laughs> oh no, sir! No, not at all, Mister uh, Baltzberger. First of all, I worked at a cabinet company, and there was a guy named Jerry, and this was how he talked. <laughs> and I, I only use his voice because he was convinced that the government built a giant railroad system that ran underneath the country and connected in Denver, Colorado. That's not just an airport. <laughs> it's a train station that the president uses to get across the country. Air Force That's... One is not safe. That's one of the Denver airport conspiracy theories. There are so many. You, you've got to go oh, like, Google it if you have never looked into I, them. Oh, it's true. We're going we're gonna to cut off that conspiracy theory here uh, so we can get <laughs> into it. Um, <laughs> um, 
so I don't know how I, I understand how two of you teamed up. Um, I understand how how Patchkey and, Kev, chicken, and Kevin. Well, I think you meant chicken liver and uh, uh, what Leroy. Was, yeah, chicken liver and Leroy. I understand how <laughs> y'all got together. Uh, Smashy, what are you doing bumming around these two? <laughs> is um, I mean, well, you know, the, the they're truth probably is, pretty anti government. <laughs> The, the truth is, they're not sure. They just turned around at some point, and like there I was, like laughing at the same joke. And you know, have you ever had somebody sort of invite themselves into like your conversation at the bar or whatever? That's how basically do you think I got in this I, game. I was yeah. that's, how this, that's how this show got started. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exactly how I insinuated myself into the party. And just for the visual effect, by the way, I'm not dressed in a normal clown costume. I am a ass-kicking super clown. So I'm wearing all of the same garments as Superman. The long un- or the shorty little underwear over the skin tight, except everything is like a uniform polka dot color. So um like all the dots uh, match between the tights and the shorts yeah, and, the, exactly, and the top exactly oh, exactly fuck, i love your you hat hat on? no 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 hat um but very funny hair like a, a, let's say afro uh rainbow wig those are okay. always fun mm, okay. okay now how many mechanical prosthetics do you have attached to your face <laughs> none um i'm just well uh, i gotta erase some stuff <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Patsy? Why don't you tell me how many mechanical problems? <laughs> he can't see his face. Right. You gotta tell him. <laughs> yeah, I can't see my own face. That's good. I need oh. to know. I need to know. <laughs> so you know, in Star Trek: The Next Generation, when Jean when Jean Luc Picard becomes the cutest of Borg. That's right. I always just got like not the eye, but like around it and everything. Like Seven of Nine does. Yeah. Well, Seven's just got the little thing. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, if I, if that's I recall, actually... you just had a around the eye, like, all, round circle thing. Yeah. Am I wrong? What, what Am I missing seeing, What you're seeing is my my onboard cotton candy maker. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't make it for other people. It's just constantly internally generating it in my throat. So, like, every time I swallow, I'm basically so, taking in, like, you know, cotton So, Smashy candy. does all have... <laughs> uh diabetes then <laughs> no i i have reverse diabetes um actually oh, shit. hyperglycemia yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, that, that's a weird one because diabetes is both hyper and hypoglycemia depending on what you did wrong uh that day so um, <laughs> uh okay, yeah well, like, which one which one do doctors say you shouldn't have an internal cotton candy maker for <laughs> I mean, well, these yes. are people who, who who don't have nearly the um, energy output that I do. Think of That's it fair. more like a, uh, a, a like think if you cut me, I'd probably bleed this cotton candy. Corn syrup, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Corn nice. syrup I love it. I lo- it's very yeah. good. The three of you have formed some like I wouldn't say an uneasy alliance. I wouldn't say an alliance with purpose. Hilarious alliance. Yeah, but y'all, oh. y'all, y'all do stuff, and occasionally you do stuff together, and occasionally um, it pisses off the cops, and occasionally it pisses off supervillains. Just that's the way the, that's the way the cotton candy dissolves in the water, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, daddy. Recently, <laughs> um, a a fellow. Let's call him an anti-hero. Has been arrested. Um, mm-hmm. This this man, one uh, who's known by most as the Nazi annihilator, uh, John <laughs> Stabberger, has been arrested, incarcerated, and is currently, as in tonight, being transported from one maximum security facility to. Uh, what has been said in the news to be a um, black site where mm-hmm. he is expected to disappear forever, essentially. Um, now, all of you have some reason to have be irked by this. Smashy, this is the man. This is the man bringing down the hammer on someone who, like you, fights He's against a- authority. He's he's uh, first of all, 
Stabberger is a personal hero of of Smashy, so like Stabby would, and Smashy, it's a, yeah, it's he's a teammate like, in heaven. He'd, he'd right. be doing this solo, um, let alone in a team of expert lunatics like myself. So <laughs> yeah, let's fucking uh, do it to the man. Leroy, and, uh, Leroy, uh, for you, a government mm-hmm. black site. Yeah, there's lots a of them all over the country. Government you black <laughs> site. You know what how you f- find them. <laughs> on the back of the road signs where they have that sticker with the number that's always different colors, you see, mm-hmm. you get those into Google Maps and you, you try to con- cross reference between the way you, you, you're not supposed to go on the streets. And that will lead you to any government black site as long as you know the code. <laughs> <laughs> the code uh, is that is on point. <laughs> you are positive that the uh the government is playing on reverse engineering Stabberger's powers, and mm. then they'll just have fucking cops and and federalists that have Stabberger powers, and that's no good. No, you don't need the federalists having knives come out of their their forearms, mm-hmm. their their nope. backs, their their nope. shin muscles. It's, their, it's, their, it's their, bad. Their left and, uh, kneecap. Right through the, right through <laughs> and, the esophagus. And, Chicken liver. Uh, you have gotten good and drunk, and your friends are going to do this thing. <laughs> no, that some bitch owes me a twelve pack of <laughs> Bush Light and a pouch of Levi Garrett. What the hell? <laughs> I need compensated. He lost that hand of Uno. <laughs> uh, so uh, that is on your agenda this evening: is busting Stabberger out of the uh armored convoy <laughs> uh this is nice now audience uh, uh, players cover your ears now, audience this will not be the only convoy because boy howdy convoys and goddamn superheroes is a really fun thing to play all right everybody put on your put on your stuff again go on i just come heard on. Come on. i heard something oh, about a, a song you know that yeah, yep. great. Come All right, on. now that I'm done describing my play, my fellow players' genitals, let's get into it. <laughs> you told him that you wouldn't tell about. The, you told me you wouldn't tell him about the freckles on it. I did. I didn't. I told them oh. about the piercings. Um, I'm trying to get the word out there that mine is both smooth <laughs> and crunchy. <laughs> Freckled in Botox. Let's move on. Yeah, let's let's move on from our genitals. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> first of all. How do you guys want to intercept this convoy? Are you staking out? Are you going to get in a car and ram it? Like, what is your preferred method of intercepting? Uh, I think we should steal a cop car and sneak up on them that way. Like, they won't see us coming if they think we're also a cop. Well, my my daddy's a truck driver. We can find out what route he's on and what that route they're on. We can use his big old truck. He hates that fucking job anyways. It cuts into his uh, drinking time. Um, Maybe we not can. Maybe we can hit, not. No, no. It, it's mostly the meth while he's while he's driving, though. You got to stay awake. So, um, <laughs> Jesus. I, I mean, I do like that cop car thing. That's a good idea. Um, I could, we could also see if my if my daddy's around and see if he, maybe he can give us a lift. Find find out what route they're going. Maybe he can use that truck or so. I I don't know. They what have do you a think? hell of a lot more. Uh, what do you call it? Momentum, inertia, Oof. what have you. Oomph is the proper physics term, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, so, you smash one cop car into another cop car, but if you smash a truck through a whole bunch of them, that's going to fucking rule. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Leroy, do you have any uh, any insight? Well, um, so Leroy's first idea is what we do is we figure out where they're going to stop before they, they go to actual transport Stabby McStabberson. Uh, uh, what we do is we, we know they're going to have to refuel. We know they're going to be like tired and uh, getting ready to, to go for a long haul. So what we do is we go and get the large Southern Belle dresses. We put them on. We <laughs> seduce them. <laughs> No, that's how we got kicked out of Cracker Barrel last time, goddammit. Well, all right, then I guess we'll go with your plan and not mine. Well, no, no, I mean, I mean, after we can always celebrate with the with the Southern Melt dresses. You know, I, I do really like the way yours fits, by the way. It, I mean, I it's, 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 it's form-fitting, form but it's not, it's not too revealing, you know. I want to make Leroy. All right, first roll of the evening. 
I want to make Leroy a Southern Belle dress out of balloons. <laughs> oh. so, um, I okay. want him to feel like the prettiest Belle of the ball. Like oh, a stop ball, it, Aaron. A proper oh. debutante. We have, Yo, give me the vapors. We have Leroy in the <laughs> Southern Belle balloon uh, dress being a lot lizard at the Flying J when they go fuel up. <laughs> Hook, hook up with one of the drivers and we're in we got this this sounds like a good plan uh, um now are you going to distract the drivers and then ram them with the truck uh that's a good sure. point, <laughs> that kind of two plans going on at once i don't think any of us are particularly clear thinkers john <laughs> i <laughs> i i love it charles roll me your badass plush balloons <laughs> It's three plus is a uh, a success, yeah, four, right? four plus <sighs> four plus. All right, that's two successes and one success and a failure. So that's three and one and okay. two more. So that's five successes oh. and one failure. Yeah, uh, you, 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 <laughs> first of all, add a point of badass. <laughs> Let me get the size of your waist. Leroy, this clown right. is fucking crazy, but I, I don't know. He's creative <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> uh, Leroy, uh, Smashy yeah. hands you just... Uh -huh. Look, I, I'm not going to say it's the most beautiful Southern Belle dress because it's made of balloons, but it, it, by God, you can tell it's a Southern Belle dress made of balloons. And because he rolled very well, it also looks like it's gonna fit. Okay. Um, Leroy, Leroy, after this, you want after this you want to go to Piggly Wiggly? Uh, <laughs> sir, I mean, sir, they they no, sir, not in use or not in New Sodom. Piggly Wiggly's is farther north. Now, uh, well, road trip. Come on. Well, this guy, Bill Ball, right here. We well, are not. We are not. We, we are. Excuse, not. excuse me, voice of God, there, sir. <laughs> How do you know, Mister Overseer of the game, that I can hear now as part of my <laughs> stupidity? How do you know the black side is not, in fact, a piggly wiggly? <laughs> because, because. It is in East Texas and not in North Texas. And Piggly Wigglies are the only the only like three Piggly Wigglies still in existence are in North Texas. <laughs> well, uh, that's how I know. Really, so we're going to a defunct. We're going to a defunct Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just like all the old WalMarts became uh, Jade Six secret UN troop sites. Mm, Am I yeah. Right? <sighs> Uh, store and You're stuff in the Air Force. Force. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So yeah, uh, I go. Um, I find a bush, and uh -huh. I and I go, go behind on. it, and yeah, I. Uh, what are we talking about? I I disrobe and I put on the the nice and warm and uh not very breathable balloon <laughs> Southern <laughs> Bell dress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You roll for. No, you do not need to roll for putting on changing your clothes. <laughs> Although okay. it is badass. Um, wow, um, thank you. <laughs> all right, so um, we're going to skip ahead to you being at the uh, being at the the Exxon Exxon Mobil gas station, the Bucky's, more like. Yeah, the Bucky's. Uh, yeah, ah. you're at the Bucky's. I guess standing next to a gas pump, like fanning your <laughs> Southern Belle dress that, that around your hair you and ankles. Lizarding. No, man, you got to go out to the, the guys who are on their sleep shift. And uh... do I have one of those fans? But it's actually just a series of balloons that I can. Un... I don't what know, Charles. Did you make that a lot, lizard? <laughs> um, yeah, you got the everything you want in a in a debutante dress. All right, cool. So I open my parasol. I, I <laughs> all the balloons squeak open. Jesus. Uh, side note: Did we even get like the trucking route for or the the, <laughs> the route where the uh, the the convoy is going to be going? Or here uh, we just the had a, had a Bucky's out of nowhere. <laughs> 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 We've been here for like six hours, boys. I don't think they're coming through. <laughs> My 
my superpower is stupid, and I willed this into being the right spot. Is you don't have to research it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't can know I any roll? Better. Yeah, can I roll to use my my stupidity to to yeah. luck into this? Yes. Uh, I'm assuming so it would be the Bucky's. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the pain point at oh. So a couple things. Uh, when when the boys need to roll anything, I choose a pain point, which is the threshold they need to beat to succeed. Um, also, the game master is not what I am called tonight. It is the tyrant. I am the tyrant <laughs> of this game. Um, which I like that. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put the pain point at a four. Okay, so I've got to roll over a four. You have to roll roll a number of d6s equal to your badass plus your stupidity. And anything <laughs> that is over a four is a success. Four, five, or six is a success. Okay, so it's my badass, which I left at a four, plus okay. my stupidity. So, so, so that's, that's the number of dice I get? Roll. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's the number of dice that's you get. So I get, I get, that, four... get four successes. Yeah. Come on, man. Um, you can do it. On Four out you of got this. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I need that one, too. I was going to reroll one, but I saw another die. One success, two success, three. Oh, my God. I only failed one of those. Hell, yeah. Excellent. Um, uh, You guys start arguing at hour three. <laughs> about, like, God damn it. I told you they wasn't gonna come to the Buckies. <laughs> um, you, uh, I do. Smashy, think it was you the are. Buckies. You are. This is hysterical to you, Smashy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you want to rescue the guy, but this is really fucking funny. I'm just. I'm doing the balloon guy dance in the background while they're arguing. You know. Uh, Leroy. Leroy gets red in the face. Uh, starts fanning himself furiously <laughs> and <laughs> explains to you the the like nine or ten conspiracy theories that connect back to it having to be this Bucky's. And as he is explaining this, you see the headlights of the convoy rolling in to get gas. Ooh. <laughs> see, fool, that's what I, to I told you that they would be here. You thought, you thought that I was wrong. You thought that the dress was a bad idea. You thought that Bucky's wasn't even the right chain we should whoa, be at. Whoa, you whoa, said whoa. we should be at a Chevron, but here no. we are now. Leroy, no one said that dress was a bad idea. You look gorgeous. <laughs> well, I thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, how many cars in this convoy or vehicles in this convoy? There's like two. It's it is the it is the tr armored truck that is. Uh, I don't think that qualifies as a convoy. Well, you look, motherfucker. <laughs> a procession, maybe. <laughs> I mean, um, two is like not carpooling, is what that is. <laughs> I mean, all right. So the not carpool <laughs> says the clown. How many of your type can fit into a vehicle? I rest. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, you're clown just, racism. Hey, well, hey. I, I, I would have to roll one d twenty to tell you that on this particular <laughs> day. But that's how many clowns would fit into a a wee little bitty car. Yeah. And those little clown cars, they're very fuel efficient, too. I'll have you know. Even with 20 asses in there? Yeah. Oh, Smashy right. cares about the environment. Well, Smashy good. cares about the children. Okay. Um, it, uh, you said they're like SUV types, like yeah, uh, armored, armored trucks? Yeah, SUVs, essentially. Uh, armored, okay. Um, I'm going to teleport into the first one. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a pie at the second one after he, after he does that. <laughs> okay. I try, uh, I distract them. Um. Yes. Okay. Give me a second. So, first thing, Leroy, you're going to seduce. <laughs> second thing, you're going to teleport. Third thing, um, Charles. What does your pies do? <laughs> well, it's it's a very small pie, like the size of uh, like a pot pie, but it mm -hmm. is a uh, nitroglycerin meringue. So I'm going to aim it at a, the front tire. So it's explosive. Yes. Okay. Cool. Right. Just All like right, me, um, used to make. Uh, Miss uh, Leroy, I don't know if you have any fucking <laughs> things to add to this, but go ahead and seduce. 
you have a okay. power that you can use for seduction? <laughs> um, Stupidity. <laughs> manip manipulate. I could use manipulate. Manipulate, manipulate oh, yeah. and nice. badass. Okay. I'm saying the pain point at a three for this because not while you. you are not a wa you do not look remotely feminine, it is a very good dress. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One, two. And what what is it like at three? Roll. So I above. You three? need to hit. You need to get at least three successes. Right, right. So I got two sixes and a four plus. Oh, my, that's good. My... You hit it. All right. All right. Um, okay. Luckily for you, the driver of that first truck is just super into bears and balloons. He's a balloon. <laughs> yeah. <you laughs> know he, he's just picturing yeah. you all blown up in yeah. uh, latex. What are balloons made of? Uh, <laughs> uh, something like that. I don't know. He, yeah. what, he wants, he's just what he wants to do is, is sit on the balloon and on top of a cake at the same time. He um, is that's really he actually gonna do it is, for that he is not a popper. He <laughs> thinks popping is disgusting and they are deviants. Uh, but he is very into the <laughs> uh, so he's, wow. he's there, like, squeaker. <laughs> he's 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 not popping a boner, but he is he is sporting he is sporting a healthy rod. Um, is he got a blue a animal in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> we, I am uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, roll me your teleport, Kevin. Okay, uh, that's gonna be seven dice. Uh, what's the, the pain there, point? Uh, the pain point is probably at the. Uh, three for this as well. Not All right. too hard. Uh, six, a four, a four, and the rest are garbage. So I got three oh. successes. Oh, three successes. You're good. Yeah. You bamf on in there. Charles, are you <laughs> throwing the pie at the one that he just bamfed into or the no, second one? No, second one. I want to okay. disable the second vehicle by hitting it in the front uh, tire slash axle with okay. my delicious but deadly nitroglycerin <laughs> meringue pie. Make me so a pie roll. Pie is one. Shut your pie hole and make a pie roll. That's right. I'm Love gonna it. make a pie hole. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. That's one success, one fail. Success and fail. So that's two successes so far. And three, because I have a four. That counts, right? Yep. Okay, great. That's three successes, and you made the payment point four, right? Yep. So, uh, do you want to tell me how that went wrong? Yeah. Um, so you didn't botch, so it's not going to, you're not, it's not going to like explode in your face. Um, you, you lean back throw and you're like, you're still laughing your ass off. This is hysterically funny to you. Um, Those things to me, to me. John is also <laughs> laughing. <laughs> um, and you, you release your pie just a little too early and it goes mm. up and down and explodes in front of the car instead of on the front of the car. Uh, so instead of instead of disabling the vehicle, you have alerted the vehicle. Ah, it, okay. Premature pie release. We've all been there. Yeah, <laughs> every one of us. Uh, Kevin, yeah. you bamf yes. into the back of this car, and there you see bloody and bruised John Stabberger. Oh, you sitting, looked out. Sitting in irons. Uh, All right. chained to the wall, um, hands kind of cuffed over his chest, as they do with Wolverine. Uh, not mm -hmm. that Wolverine, a different legally distinct Wolverine. Um, you know, the old honey badger, the old the honey badger got it. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, I would like to, uh, first off, uh, you got that 12-pack and a pouch of chew? I'm running low. <laughs> and then second off, I'm going to grab him and try to bamf out of there with him. Okay. Um, so, so he, he kind of grumbles something from behind a, a like steel mask they have him in. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you, you can assume he said yes. Why not? Um, <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit harder. This yeah. is going to be a five. Five successes. Because you are trying to, yeah, five successes because okay. you're trying to teleport with someone else. Okay. Uh, seven dice. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, oh, that's two successes. Ooh. Um, 
you you bamf out and you just like show up in front of a uh, smashy <laughs> with empty arms kind of like like can i can i bamf back and be hugging uh smashy <laughs> yes absolutely i like that yeah <laughs> And I emit a high-pitched squeal of sheer terror for just a second before I realize what's happened. But like, I need one of you to yeah. sniff the other's hair, though. I was actually gonna honk his nose. So you have the like the big like like clown nose. You bet. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna honk his nose and be like, so uh, no, um, I'll be right back, and I'm gonna try to do it again. Okay. Um, before you do, uh, the gentlemen are getting out of that second car. They are armed. Um, okay. But they're getting out, so you each have one more action to respond to this. And because of that explosion, the guard who was um, just getting ready to rub all over your squeaky balloons is <laughs> like turning around, like "What the fuck?" and drag pulling his uh, sidearm. Because cop's first reaction to "I don't know what's happening" is to draw a weapon. Yep. So each of you get to react to these guys before their turn. I. I, 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 well, first of all, uh, oh no, I'm still seducing the guy. Uh, okay. Oh man. It's really not all as right. hard as you would think. Would you, would you like to turn around and just plant a big one on his lips? Well, I mean, they were, get, the other cops were getting out with their guns and I was just like, well, the obvious solution here is just to the, the, the conspiracy about them having loaded weapons is, is untrue. Everyone knows the government cannot afford to, to give everyone man, man, look, there is a war in the Ukraine and we have sent too much <laughs> ammunition over there. So these officers clearly are holding empty weapons and they can't shoot us even if they want it to. Charles, not it for responding to the Twitter comments on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this legitimately sounds like something that dumbasses would say. Like, oh yeah, yeah, he's wrong. Cops, cops can't even like uh, have loaded guns now. So I but, assume you're trying to. You're, you're assuming you're attempting to assert your your conspiracy theory over over reality here. Yeah, that that is the exact superpower that that this character was built around. Um, Dude, you're like somebody out of uh, Doom Patrol. It's rad. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're uh, go ahead and roll. I have pain points for the cops. Uh, so if you reach a certain number, it'll be good. If you reach a certain other number, it'll be great. So let's see what you got here. All right, so. They got a five. They got a four. And they got these twos. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Those okay. My dice are all twos. Um, so you you start to like you are just kind of contemplating the fact like this is no big deal. They don't even have bullets. But then you think, but they're they're transporting stabber, they might have bullets. And that little seed of doubt in your own mind, mm -hmm. you like you become more and more sure that they probably do in fact have bullets. All right, so I grabbed the cop and I lay a wet one on him out of fear. <laughs> okay, I need you to roll. I, so first, I need you to subtract a point of badass for your failure. All right. Add a point of Done. hate. All right, one hate. One do hate. I as well since I failed the pulling? Oh, yes, sorry. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you do. Uh, and then I want you to roll badass plus manipulation for your kiss. Now, if I told you that this roll was somehow worse than my previous one. What'd you roll, bud? I got that one five that looks really nice. Uh -huh. And so then the rest are, are somehow weird. ones. That's the that's the pain point. I I was gonna get. So give yourself another point of hate. Uh -huh. Take away another point of badass. All right. Uh, so you, you grab him and you stick your tongue right in his mouth. <laughs> and you pull him close. And the balloons pop, <laughs> which turns him off so quickly. He is grossed. He is icked out. He is <laughs> disturbed that you are a disgusting popper, and he points his gun at you. Uh, Smashy is your go. All right. Uh, I think that it's time to um, stop with the fucking around. So uh, I am going to... Leave it up to the tyrant whether I should roll for slapstick or balloon animals with this. 
because what I'm going to do is take the cop who is threatening my my good friend and turn that cop into a balloon animal that is made out of a human deboned balloon. So it'd be like a crickly pop and then, you know, squeakity squeak and make them into something more useful than a cop. Like, I don't know, a pot or like a hole in the wall or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your badass and what's your balloons? Uh, I'm still at badass of five. My balloon animals is a one slapstick is a two. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. I'm going to set it at a, um, this is less slapstick and more Cronenbergian body horror. I'm a big fan, <laughs> big fan. Uh, yeah. give yourself another point of badass. Okay, cool. <laughs> but the, the, the downside is pain point is five. Okay, oh, let's wow. see if we can do this. And I'm using the uh, balloon animals I take it yep, then. Yeah, balloon animals and your new badass score. A Cronenbergian balloon animal. Okay. If, if whenever I say add a point of badass, do it before your roll. All righty. Let's see. So that's one success. I don't like my odds. Two success. And one more. It fell off the table. Let's try that. Ah, three successes. Unfortunately, three is, I'm being told by our moderators, less than five. It is. <laughs> so It is less than five. Um, <clears throat> you hear a the groan of expanding uh, uh, plastic from somewhere inside the cop's trousers. Um, but he does not turn into, <laughs> he does not turn into a balloon that you can morph into something better. Uh, gain a point of hate, lose a point of badass. And Kevin, there are two cops stepping out of the second van with their weapons. What do you do? Are they out of the van or are they just, are they in the they process? Will, of... They will be out of the van and weapons hot after your turn. Okay, so doors open, they're stepping out. Yeah. I'm going, I, I want to pull out my kitchen knife <laughs> and I want to teleport. And I need, I, oh. Kevin, I need to ask you a question. Yes, sir. Is is kitchen knife one of your powers? Uh, knife. I have knife skills. Okay. All right. So I figured I would have a knife for knife skills. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, no. So that's right. I, I will pull, I'll, pies I'll for pies. No, no. Uh, the question is not one of like me rules lawyering you. I just needed to know if this old kitchen knife was a superpower. <laughs> it, it's actually is now because I'm writing that old. Oh. Kitchen it's knife skills. Like the, okay. It's like the guy in uh, Super with the superpower so, that's a so, wrench that he hits people uh, with. Because this is a new game, let me explain. Uh, generally speaking, equipment is kind of wrapped up into badass, unless you can do inhuman things with it, or the equipment is kind of like, like a magic knife or um, uh, a technological like if it can do things that knives shouldn't be able to do. So, uh, mm -hmm. but knife skills totally make sense. You are inhumanly good with the knife. What are you doing, Kev? Uh, what All are right, you doing? So, uh, <laughs> chicken, chicken, liver. chicken liver. Name's chicken liver. <laughs> so uh, the, the kitchen knife he's got, it actually turns out to be just a bread knife. You know, so it's uh, it doesn't have much of a point on it, but it's all like got those. Thick it's serrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serrated. Yeah. So I'm going to bamf in front of the one in, or <laughs> PH bamf. Um, in front of the one that's coming out of the door and then reappear with the knife between move my beard out of the way like right about, right about here and then Stop coming out of my face the dude <laughs> no 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 you look beautiful Lex um, uh, and I, I kind of want it to go through like the throat or, or, or appear okay, in so the you're, throat. you're bamping with a knife inside his body. Love it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to roll your badass, plus your bamf, plus your uh, knife skills. So many knives. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put this at a... Honestly, this doesn't isn't going to be very hard, though. Uh, I'm going to put it at a three. Okay. For you. Uh, that is a six, a five, a five, and another five, and the rest are garbage. So, yeah, I got four successes. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you appear, uh, you bamf uh, like 10 feet 
uh, not too hard. <laughs> and you're just like, uh, I hope you actually make a little like Nyeh! sound um, <laughs> as you appear with your knife inside his throat. Uh, Kevin, I'm going to give you an opportunity to gain a badass here. What do you say as you appear in front of him with your knife literally in his throat? Uh, do you got directions to the Piggly Wiggly? And then I'm going to rip it out. <laughs> okay, give yourself a point of badass. That's good. That's, that's not what I was expecting. Um, Only two left. So I can't stop thinking about that. That's tragic. Um, okay. Now it is their turn. Um, Patchkey? I need you to roll a defense. Uh, okay. Unless you can use a, a power in your defense, uh, it's just your badass, and the pain point is three. All right. Oh, wait, so what's your badass currently? Three. Remind me uh, what the hate points are for. Uh, you can use oh! hate points to add successes. Actually, or... no. My badass is two. Okay. <laughs> All right. Your pain point is two. Four, I've lost two, so... Pain point okay. is two. You can use hate to give yourself automatic successes. Okay. Or you can use hate when you're out of badass to stay alive or make one final attack. That, so that's that's, a, like, crazy damage. that's one success to the pool, not not like the whole thing succeeds, right? Exactly. Right. One success. So to just the just walk me through what what am I doing again? Uh, okay, I'm so rolling... roll, roll your roll your badass. Yeah. Uh, and then let me know four and a three okay uh add <laughs> uh take away one of your hate okay. and we'll count that as a full success All because right. you can add you can trade hate for success basically you're so angry and pissed off that it pushes you <laughs> that extra mile to succeed so true in this country mm -hmm. yeah. that's that's how i've been dealing with the healthcare system right now <laughs> yeah. it's like well do you really need this? You're fucking right, I do. Uh, <laughs> come over okay. so we can discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on this side of the desk. Poor receptionist that has no, no control over what's yeah, happening. That's the problem. You're insulated by several layers from the people who are dicks, you know. Uh uh, you actually smashy, you are not being targeted this round as you are kind of off to the side. However, no one's Kevin, taking a crack at the clown. That's okay. No one's taking a crack at the clown. Well, okay. You don't have your. You weren't tonsil. <laughs> you weren't tonsil tussling, and <laughs> you didn't just eviscerate a man's throat. <laughs> so, Kevin, um, yes. you. I need you to roll three or more successes or get shot right in the goddamn knee. Okie doke. So, um. Left knee or right? Uh, I only got one you, success. You, you used to be an adventurer. Uh, <laughs> you get shot right in the goddamn left knee. Um, they can rebuild you. They can rebuild you faster, faster stronger, stronger. Left, one more left knee. Um, yeah. better at cornhole. <laughs> got it. Get extra cornhole. Yeah. Um, don't put a. Don't put a beanbag in the hole where your knee was. <laughs> I um, gotta stop the bleeding somehow. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> um, yeah, you are you you drop as as the bullet rips through. Not your actual knee. It, you know, it it pushes through. Um, you got one success, so you I got one success. Two points of badass. Okay. Um, you take damage equal to the difference between your badass score and the pain point or you deal damage equal to the difference between what you roll and the pain point okay um so it's a big ouchie but you are not out of the fight yet um i <laughs> uh it's y'all's turn uh and we're actually going to roll initiative now oh. everyone roll uh 1d6 plus your badass score and i don't mean roll that number of dice i just mean roll 1d6 and then add your back seven is my result also seven also nice. seven good 
Well, fuck, <laughs> roll again, you motherfuckers. <laughs> no, we all go at once. All right, uh, six this time. Still seven. Six. <laughs> Motherfucker, okay. Well, you said it after Charles, so you're going third. <laughs> That's fine. Cup one, cup two, because the third cup is dead. What a um, fucking tyrant this guy is. <laughs> That's my name, don't wear it out. Sweet case. You, sweet can also, you can also pronounce it, what a tyrant that what guy a ti- is. <laughs> what a tyrant. <laughs> so the rest of the rest of the night's game is going to be uh, recorded solely in ASMR. Um, so I still want to know where that pig wig is. Monster <laughs> after dark. <laughs> after See, hours. We're going to be talking about dicks exploding, but not in a fun way for the rest of the night. Um, See, it's why you can't go to Thailand. It's because your dick will explode. You go my, to Thailand and sleep dad around. My currently in Thailand. Know. Your father's going to lose his penis. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> that, oh, okay, slight interlude, <laughs> guys. I woke up this morning at four a.m. because chemo, uh, <clears> chemo, <throat> uh, insomnia, to a message from my dad because he got his first tattoo in Thailand. <laughs> As one does, he went nice. to he went to that he went to that monastery where uh, like they meditate and then choose a tattoo for you. And my dad now That's has cool. a giant ass back piece. Wow! What? Like yeah. the whole back? Yeah, it's sick. That's it's dope. so good. That's fucking rad. I'm oh, I'm man. extremely jealous. Okay, sorry. Um, that's enough about my dad's erotic body art. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, uh, Patchkey, you're going yeah. first. Okay. Uh, this man, this man action. tried to shoot you. Yeah. He did. And, you know, uh, let's see. I've got stupidity and uh, I. I mm, 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 mm. Well, why did I have to roll first? I'm actually drawing a blink right now. I'm, I'm being <laughs> too method in, in my role play. Um, <laughs> uh i don't know what the fuck to do guys um well let's see you've got stupid conspiracy and what's the other one uh, manipulate. manipulate yeah uh, which you should manipulate him to kill himself you could decide that uh hollow worth is accurate and I, i'd have to go at great length about how that would work but it would change physics and maybe they'd miss with their bullets i don't know <laughs> well, see, here's the here's the thing that you you're close to the to the the solution that I th- I feel we may we may have coming up 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 in our in our in our mind organ, which the mind is the the largest organ next to the skin. Um, <laughs> you see the the Earth is not hollow and per se uh the the mole people that live inside of it actually live on the on the bottom on the bottom side of the earth as we know it's essentially a large bar coaster that we all live on top of mountains are just the the watery debris that has soaked into the coaster and expanded where the rest has not water is not the same as water per se and that's why your bullet that you try to shoot at one of us has gone around around the no that doesn't fucking work <laughs> this is this is like uh, uh great no, day, no, alex me, jones on a bad night shit. <laughs> <laughs> no let me say let me say mr patchkey you can yeah. also just do physical violence. Yeah. Oh, and thank God. You can just okay. hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. You can do physical violence. And if you make it a little more mm-hmm. outrageous and ludicrous, you're more likely to get badass points for you to use on future terms. Turns. Okay. Awesome. So what I do is I I I tackle him and I punch him once in the face, and then I punch once in the ground. I go, come on, mole man. Punch him in the face, <laughs> once the ground. Mole man, aid me! And once the face, once the ground. So many mole men to rise up to help assist us in our battle. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, give yourself a point of badass. 
Thank God. Yeah, take All one right. from me. That was amazing. <laughs> and, yeah. All right. All right. Then, uh, back roll, up one. roll, roll your badass for me. All oh, right. uh, okay. Actually, roll your badass plus conspiracy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, hate me. <laughs> All right, that's a five and two threes, and then a one because I put one in conspiracy. Okay, do you wanna do you wanna I... use a, your your other point of hate, or get, lose another that that point I just got back? Yeah, I'm gonna use my hate. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I'm um, hate. So saying. you you punch him, and then uh. You uh, punch the ground. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you punch the ground. You go back to punch him. And then a mole man rises from the earth and uppercuts him. <laughs> and then immediately dives back down. I so, knew they'd hear me. Well, I can't hear you at all. <laughs> Is that just me that can't hear you? I, I can hear him. Yeah, I can hear him. Charles, can you say something? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Oh no! Why can't right I hear now. you? Oh uh -oh. wait, there we go. Hello? I'm back. Hey, all right, great. Uh, this was coming unplugged. <laughs> oh. oh boo! Okay, fantastic. Um, so mailman uppercuts him, goes back down. Um, however, uh, yeah, uh, you you don't have a lot of oomph behind your attacks right now, so you're not doing a ton of damage. Uh, he looks mostly like freaked out that a mole man just punched him more than anything <laughs> else. Uh, Charles, it's your go. All right. <clears throat> Who is, I don't know, whatever police ossifer is uh, closest to me, um, it's, it's time to engage in some physical violence, or as I like to call it, slapstick comedy. Yes, it so, is. <laughs> uh, I, I get a running start, and I mean, it's probably like a 10-foot running start, because as you said, I went unnoticed. Yeah. And I go, Ali, you? And uh, I kick this cop in the ass so hard that his tailbone goes all the way up through his spine and out the top of his skull, immediately killing him. <laughs> Okay. Uh, now, I want to point out that when we were talking about running this game, you told me your goal for the night was to throw There's a human a guy to another, another guy. human yeah. Uh, yeah. using your superhuman strength. A stat well, you decided not I've to got, take. I've got some news for you, smartass, as a matter of fact. So, uh, I've been reading Moby Dick because I have too much time on my hands. And there's a shocking amount of whale phrenology in this book. So, like, There really is. Yeah, and and like I just caught an aside today I'd never noticed before, which is um, Melville or Ishmael rather says like it is a common German conceit that each vertebra is an unformed skull. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> wait, so like each one of our vertebra is one of our like is is like an extra skull that can grow like. <laughs> Either all the way up and down the back, like, or like maybe if you got your head lopped off, like another one would just whoop, you know. Can um, you explain <laughs> this in detail to Leroy really quick? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna need uh, because this is the kill shot. I'm gonna need a pretty good roll. All right. Um, let me get. Let me get. Uh, what's your badass right now? Uh, five slap six okay. at two, and what's your slapstick? Two, so it'd be a yeah. seven dice roll total. All right, I'm gonna need a four. You of got success. it. Four success from you. All so right. So generally speaking, for the audience, while he rolls that, um, pain point should be rough. If you want people to mostly succeed or have a good chance of succeeding, at least, pain point should be roughly half of badass. Um, four. You did it. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted to be a little more challenging, make it bad, like half a badass plus one or two points. Um, because again, uh, and this again, this is just me as a game designer. I don't like games that, or actually, I do. I quite like games that are prone to failure and death. I play Morkborg. Yeah. Uh, but that said, as a game designer, I am always like, how can we make this the most fun and uh, free players to be as crazy as they want? Yeah. Um, Charles, 
like you hit four that, successes that dude's ass through his brain yeah you you run up on the only cop who's not facing your direction uh which is the one that just got uppercutted by a mole man um <laughs> you you like he is staggered he is confused he's a little bit scared but all that fear <laughs> leaves his body along with the vertebra of his tailbone <laughs> shooting through his nose as his nose explodes. Uh, Patchkey, you have nose on your face. You have two nose on your face, to be fair. Um, Man, that would be a cool album cover. <laughs> <laughs> um, a man in a balloon dress standing in front of a man whose like face is exploding. His face is exploding, yeah. Being like, kicked in the ass by a yeah, giant dude. clown shoe. Uh, who does all those cannibal corpse covers? I'll go find that guy, whatever weirdo <laughs> did those. I want to recommend Jim Magpalza for this one, actually. <laughs> I bet he'd be into it. <laughs> he would. Um, uh, uh, le- uh, chicken liver, it is now <laughs> your turn. So I've got the guy that just shot me in the knee, right? Yeah. Um, well, and is he on, was he coming out like the driver's side and I'm on the Pass yeah, side, or we yeah. Opposing... yeah, that's right. He would be on the driver's side. Um. Okay. Well, then I would like to. Uh, I would like to teleport behind him, and uh, come up with the uh, the the old uh, the old bread knife, and <laughs> appear with it like directly in his chest, and then just rip it right out. All right. So Go ahead and roll what it. works. Yeah. So two. No. So okay. I do want to interject. Going with it, you what you know works will work much of the time, but it will not do anything to build your badass. Fair. Diminishing returns. Fair enough. And six. All right. I'm just. So you're teleporting into him with the knife. Could you, in theory, do that with something like I don't know a brick? No reason why not. He's teleporting, you know, not like stabbing. He can't teleport other objects. He can only teleport himself in his body, so he could teleport with the brick into the space, but he would be holding the brick. He can't just, like, teleport a brick into someone else. Well, yeah, yeah like, that's what I figured. Like, he would teleport, like, <laughs> right next to, like, the, the guy, and then just, like, brick into the guy. Like a transporter malfunction in Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he could do that. That's kind of what I'm doing with the knife. knife. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what could could brick or sorry, I I will not. Brick, you could do it with a live weasel. You could do it with me. Uh, Where am I gonna find a live weasel? We're in the middle of something here. You could you could teleport me into the dude and pull me out, and then I'd be able to accomplish my goal. But you're on the other side of the first one. When I'm in, yeah, that's that's not gonna work out. Also, that might only work if you're much much smaller than him. (laughs) <laughs> well, I tried, yeah, because I tried getting uh, uh, John chained up John out of the uh, the SUV and it didn't work out. So I don't oh, yeah, know. I might right. just end up inside you and then that's just going to get awkward. We should get John out of the SUV, by the way. Yeah, well, I mean, it's only been a, a minute. Okay. Yeah, it's been one, one round. Uh, so that is three fours and uh, a one, two, and a three. Okay, you do tell uh for, so lose a point of badass, take a point of hate. You teleport behind him, um, back to back with him. Uh huh. <laughs> so oh, you fuck. like so you appear and you're just like staring at a, a, a mostly actually no, you are not staring at an empty parking lot. This is a fucking Bucky's. <laughs> you are staring at all the people gawking at you. <laughs> Uh, and you realize pretty quickly that you are behind the cop, but also not facing him. Okay. Um, well, that didn't quite work out. No. Um, oh, that cop's dead now. That's a fun sentence. Um, <laughs> uh, little quick note. Um, our co-host, Bridget, is not with us tonight because she needed to head to the doctor. And oh. I just got a note here on uh, Discord saying that she is um okay and she is home good good oh, so, good yes yeah, our, our bridget is safe and sound and we are glad to hear it um yes the second cop does not <clears throat> like you bamfed behind him but it's not like he knows who you are <laughs> um 
he he kind of shouts like hold on i'm coming buddy uh <laughs> assuming he is assuming he can still save his friend who um whose butthole just went to his nose uh and he kind of runs forward firing wildly into the air uh mr patchkey uh, sorry, Jeez. Leroy and Smashy. I'd like you both to make a badass check to avoid this damage uh, at a pain point of two. Don't like that sigh. Ooh, I just, just squeaked by. Just squeaked by. All right. So, do I get a do I get a hate point? Yeah, now? you do. Okay. You get a hate point. All right, that's good to know. I at least got that going for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is I've noticed that when I run games, Patchy rolls bad. Have y'all noticed that? I, I don't understand what it is. There are just nights where my dice are just like, no. No, we don't want you to that's why you need a dice timeout. You need to put your dice in timeout when they behave that way. Have I just hey. been abusing my dice too much? Should I have pulled a different set? <laughs> hey, you know how you liked having fun? Not tonight, friend. <laughs> um, uh, my wife was a teacher for several years, and uh, teachers call students friends. And so she is just in that habit of, like, when I got this tattoo, she looked over and I was like, oh, who's this friend? <laughs> and in traffic, she'll be like, oh, hello there, friend, when someone cuts her off. <laughs> It um, sounds like she's trying not to say fucker. <laughs> she is. That's exactly why they call students friend. You little friend. <laughs> exactly. Who's this little oh, fucker? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Makes sense. Uh, um, Patchkey, it is your turn again, though. Cool. Uh, well, now that I've gotten the aid of the 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 mole man, mole. I'm like, well, that should do there to set off the radar of the man in black. <laughs> no no i don't think it did <laughs> all right um so so since he's been hit um has he dropped does he still have possession of his gun can i wrestle that away from him you are kind of across the uh oh no he's been rushing toward you uh mm -hmm. if you want to you can rush him and try to wrestle away his gun yes Okay, uh, yeah, I would like to wrestle away his gun, and, uh, yeah, because, can I, can I add my, my two points of stupid to this, because I don't have a gun? I'll allow it. Oh, right. I'm going to need two successes, though. Come on. Is it four a success? Yes, it is. Well, then I got two successes. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you just run up and and <laughs> <laughs> that's uh for those listeners who are not watching my physical improv comedy right now. That's the sound of his balloon suit squeaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you've ever if you've ever run in like a nylon a warm up balloon suit. <laughs> like when it was nylon oh, warm up that noise. Same thing, but with balloons you know uh, yeah I'm running in corduroys uh yeah. i am uh and if you are if you're listening to this and just now coming to the realization that i'm a fully genius uh you can find my contact and hire me for your <laughs> silver <laughs> projects anytime um yeah you you uh, uh, a you, mallet and some celery sticks john you can look on that you uh I can't remember what I think it was a Mortal Kombat game. They needed alien weird alien noises and they brought in a pug. Um <laughs> yeah. And like for bone breaking, they would give the pug like treats and stuff to crunch on. It was beautiful. <laughs> uh thank you, Nether Realm Studios. Uh yeah, you get the gun away. Uh Char uh Smashy, it is your go. Uh, okay. Let's see. What do I have in my toolkit? Uh, I am going to do a bit, um, and, and my bit is the one where I smack my forehead like I've just remembered something, but then stagger wildly like I've smacked myself way too hard, and I just put my, my clowny head, which is both hard and squishy somehow, 
straight through uh, the side of the back of the uh, vehicle holding John. So, like, it might not be on the same side. It might be on passenger side instead of driver's side. But my goal is to bust my dumbass clown head through the window. Okay, you're uh, you're using some slapstick here, then. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Classic Roll me badass plus uh, slapstick. Now, this is a, a metal car door. I'll yep. put it at a four. Okay. Just one. Two. Three, and I'm going to use a pain point to make uh, it four. A okay. uh, point of hate. Eight point. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um. All right. And you were trying to bust through the the back uh the back of the car, the window. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you bust through that back window. Uh, and you see what I told uh chick chicken liver <laughs> i it's hard for me not to give you a point of badass every time i have to say your name <laughs> i think you good. should i think you should yeah Don't before, the end of, before the end of the night behold the new god chicken liver <laughs> Bell for me, you fucking peasant! <laughs> I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Uh, <laughs> I will swallow uh, your souls and your pork rinds. No, we all know what the what the ascended uh, chicken liver would say. You know, be, hold my beer, <laughs> hold my beer. Uh, so yeah, you, you see, death, hold my beer. You see John, uh, John Stabberger sitting on the the bench. He looks up at you and raises an eyebrow. Um, and that, that helps shift the chips of broken glass off of his eyebrow. So, <laughs> uh, and you, uh, uh, I will allow you to also like reach in and like open the the door from the broken window of this turn oh, as well. Perfect. So. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, cool. for sure. Chicken liver. Uh, there is one, more, away. there's one more cop, uh, not standing. He is on the ground with a balloon festooned man on top of him. Uh, <laughs> and he doesn't have a gun. Uh, I want to run over there and see if he's got keys on him. And that, that way we can unlock uh, old, old John there and, and get him the fuck out. I don't know why a cop from the second car would have the keys for uh, a prisoner in the first car, except that I don't, really, I don't really yeah. want to dick around with making you like search corpses for a well, turn for no reason. Um, so yeah, he has it keys. Makes, per I, it makes I perfect sense because you don't question. want you, know, you don't want the bullets next to the gun while you're driving because they hate that shit. Obviously, got a couple warrants for that one. Um, I can, so I, I can answer that question in all seriousness. Like, um, well, I don't know if they were moving a prisoner who's like in serious shackles i don't know but uh handcuff keys are standard like if you have a handcuff key it opens all handcuffs these these are not uh these are not standard handcuffs okay. but as i said i don't really <laughs> feel like making like look this is look, not a game of john john johnny johnny boy he, he, listen <laughs> listen it's it's checks and balances you can't put the keys to the, to the prisoner in that truck in that truck because what if the prisoner gets the keys and they free themselves that's oh, why you've got to put them in the other yeah. truck but you can't like keep them too far away so that's why they got to follow in a convoy type situation this is exactly Sorry, what a, a non-carpool non situation is what we're calling it <laughs> non, yeah, non -carpool yeah, situation. Non -carpool situation. <laughs> that actually makes sense um i don't know maybe i'm uh well now it, you're doesn't matter. Matter. i've already said he has them well, i'm just trying to say maybe you should get a point <laughs> no, no one's getting a point. No one's getting a point for me giving you keys. Keys at a point. Come on. Blasted. All right. So grab the keys and then I'm going to bamf into where John is so we can unlock them. Okay. Uh roll me your bamf. Uh Plus my because you decided to teleport instead of walk. Uh <laughs> which now yeah, to be the, fair, the I'm teasing you. Is open. Uh, I'm teasing you about this. But let me be clear, if I could teleport, I would never walk again. Yeah. Oh yeah. My I commute would be, would be, would be a, a seven hundred pound man that teleported <laughs> everywhere. You ever watch Star me. Trek Discovery? <laughs> like season three, it's just like how have you guys not put on a shit ton of weight? Like honestly. <laughs> oh, I need to go to I need to go to my room. 
engineering teleport me to my room. <laughs> well, no, that's what happens in season three. Their comm badges can be, have many personal transporters, so you'll just see them like on a different station. There's like, oh, okay, beep beep. That's on the bridge. Responsible. Yeah, it's irresponsible. Almost like, how have you like got not legs not just and, after yeah, feet? Imagine like everybody teleporting back and forth all over a fucking ship like nonstop, like. Yeah, shit's gonna like get on the same band by accident. There, and... everyone on that station is going to be a Brundle fly day two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always had the working theory that in Star Trek, the reason why they had a transporter room was strictly because it's got to put some kind of weird smell off, so they keep it in one room, <laughs> so that that way the rest of the ship doesn't reek. But like Discovery is just like, oh no, you can just transport anywhere all the time. Fine. Maybe All right. maybe we don't care if they smell like shit. <laughs> it's the future. They don't have to smell anymore. It's fine. <laughs> I wish I was in the future, by the way. Like every time you teleport, you just get like a whiff of pork barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, like old pork old stale yeah, pork barbecue. Old, yeah, meat yeah, gold pork left barbecue. out in the sun. <laughs> oh. yep. uh, Starting to turn. Uh, Texas is so hot right now that you could probably leave pork barbecue in the sun and it would still be like food safe temperatures. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, 40 to hot holding. As long as it's over 140, you're good to go. Uh, um, Speaking of 140, I'm going to roll these dice. Yeah, roll those dice. Yeah. Right, bud. Uh, six, four, four, and a one. That's that's fine. I mean, you're yeah, you're essentially teleporting instead of walking. It's fine. Right. Uh, yep. Yeah, you teleport over to John and you've got the keys. You can let him out. Um, gonna unlock them. Fantastic. Uh, and then does John stab each and every one of us for our trouble? <laughs> just, just right in the pee hole. I fucking hate clowns. <laughs> Take a bath. Uh, You're not getting your pouch of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will deal with John in a second. Um, Patchkey, cop, cop beneath you is slinging fist at you. Uh, roll meter, badass. Pop beneath you would make a great hey, thing. that's two uh, two fives. Fantastic! Uh, you do not get punched. Uh, you were able to like, <laughs> you were able to avoid getting punched. Uh, is your turn. You have a gun. You have a cop under you. There's some what simple addition I'd like you to God. consider. What do you do? Hi there. Uh, is this <laughs> yours? Yeah. Uh, Yes, it is. I, can I have that back? <laughs> He's so calm. <laughs> He's very confused and still, yeah. still slightly aroused. I'll this give is a different it. cop, but he is also horny. <laughs> different cop, different kind of horny. You know, yeah, yeah. just I, I, I hold it up. Him. I hold it up to his his shoulder, and I'm just like, yeah, let me let you have it. And then I pull the trigger and shoot him in the shoulder. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Oh, so um, I guess that didn't do it for you. Then I shoot him in the head. Oh my god! So <laughs> um, Bucho Valente. Uh, as you're getting up from the bloody mess you've left on the um, the street, you see uh, you see these two clowns. Well, this clown and this <laughs> other kind of clown <laughs> getting out, followed by uh, a a man in a kippa trench coat and with. Uh, Talus around his shoulders. Uh, he looks. He's not making an angry face, but he kind of just seems angry. Is the best way to describe him. Um, he uh, he is beaten all to hell, and like he's probably leaning on one of you to kind of walk. Um, ooh ooh. Uh, can I make him? Oh no, he probably. I'll let him lean on me. I was gonna make see if I could make you a balloon walker, but um... <laughs> <laughs> I think you would rather crawl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just make it anyways. <laughs> that just be making fun of him, and that's what day is it? <laughs> yes, uh, I legitimately don't know what day it is. Oh, uh, Wednesday. The yeah, yeah fucking make it up. I'm third. <laughs> Wednesday the 23rd 2023 this day sir is Labor Day <laughs> motherfucker go buy a turkey and fuck it no um, 
what he said. And my guy just runs off to take care of that. Like, on the double. <laughs> what he says. I need... I need y'all to do something for me. Okay, what's that? Ted Ooze is fucking flying to Cancun. <laughs> it's our best chance to kill the motherfucker. <laughs> As we learned today, uh, you know, p- plane flights by political people can be quite hazardous. <laughs> now, I-, I need to tell you, uh, this is Ted Ooze. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Legally mm-hmm. distinct and completely devoid of threat to actual people or public figures. Uh, that said, Ted Ooze Ooze is a slimy motherfucker senator from uh well Canada, uh, but who represents Texas and <laughs> uh in this fictional world, of course, and uh mm-hmm. Stabberger mm-hmm. is telling you that the man needs to die. I'm on Team Stabberger. And for the record, I don't think you have to dance around that much. Like, I think Larry Flint uh, won that one for us. I'm mostly <laughs> dancing around it because it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Falwell sued him for the whole I lost my virginity in an outhouse to my mother thing. And uh, and, and Flint won on grounds of, of satire. So Yeah, this is totally satire. And Ted Ooze, uh, Ted Ooze is scum. Um, <laughs> uh he like he he starts to tell you why Ted Ooze needs to die, but stops because he sees you all seem pretty on board. Which yeah, is no. <laughs> okay, let's like, go. Nope. No need to explain. We get it. <laughs> I do have a court date next Monday, but if we can get it back by then, that'd be. <laughs> it's just I'm not gonna your case, my dude. <laughs> no, no, no. It was it was it was a traffic stop. Caught, and, you know? it, it, I do I do need to know how you met Bale. <laughs> um. Bamf. Well, <laughs> yep. they, they, yep, yep, yep. Bail, they set bail at one can of skull, you know. <laughs> you, skull, that's I garbage. do not believe he would give that up. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm using, um, and as we say that, I'm actually packing some of those the Copenhagen pouches into my knee <laughs> where I got shot, just to kind of soak up the blood and kind of get some of that nicotine in cargo there. Cargo shorts, because of course Jacob Gover is wearing cargo shorts. Well, of course he's wearing camo cargo he, shorts. He's, he's got he's got, he's got a little he's got a little little flannel too. with the sleeves cut off. A uh, you know, kind of framing his Reba McIntyre shirt that he was born in. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, no. Um, I'm going to give you a very, point. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, tell you what, I'll let you roll badass. And if you roll five successes, you can get an extra point of badass for healing yourself with Shaw. There's no fucking way. I've got one point in badass, and I've got two hate. Oh, well, then yeah, you're going to have trouble. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to make you roll that and fail it. <laughs> and, I'll tell um, you what. You can succeed if you spin this straw into gold. <laughs> you, Jesus. If you can give me a handy through the Zoom call. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I think, I think that oh, worked. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Um, this show is not for children. Uh, I say that only to let ch- babies know out there. No, well, I I say that only so babies who are listening know they going to be fucked up. Mm-hmm. Um, Duff this is your father. Why are you watching this? <laughs> How did you time. turn this on? <laughs> this what might be the, get this back might in be, your slipper one thing and be <laughs> off the floor with you. This might be Delphinium like 17 or maybe even just 14 years in the future, man. Like, <laughs> back in the like, what was wrong with my dad? dad? What did he do every Wednesday? <laughs> For years, he just sat in that no, office by himself. This is what this is what Delphinium is sending to her therapist. <laughs> um, in the case of Patchkey v. Patchkey, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, that little intro part took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, um. Oh, there was more? Okay. We... <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, I was going to have you go kill Ted Ooze. Um, 
but oh, we can still you know do what? that. First of all, I'll just call the Martians. They're here. <laughs> Everyone knows <laughs> that. Number. Like, of course I got their number. What are you talking it's, about? The higher pitch we go, like, the more serious we are. Well, like I said, the Doom Patrol, it's like having a demigod in our party. Like it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Like I love it. How many ex machinas do you want? I've got yeah, them. Exactly. I, I want to point out that uh, I did create a, a character in case anyone needed it that was a demigod. That oh, was cool. way less powerful than Patsky's power. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to fast forward, as they do in comic books, um, <laughs> to uh, the three of you and uh, John Staberger standing, uh, st- <laughs> standing in front of the private plane that is supposed Which- to take Ted Ooze to Cancun. And this is how this is how uh, Smashy got the the metal eye part. Like that, we missed it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't yeah. have it earlier. Now it's totally there. It, now it, it made me cop and cotton candy to keep me alive after the grievous <laughs> injury. <laughs> I took. <laughs> Stabber just stabbed you numerous <laughs> times yes, or some yeah. imagined slide. Like, yep. You made a joke in German, and he's like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" You know. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I made like a balloon dreidel or something. You know. <laughs> like, like, All right, <laughs> all right, fuck face. <laughs> You know what else is a funny joke? Shank, shank, shank. <laughs> uh, the shank, four shank, of you shank. are standing. Shank your boo. Uh, well, the three of you are standing. Stabberger's kind of leaning and against the uh, the the on ramp to the the uh, the uh, plane. You have learned in the past, you know, however long it took you guys to get here, uh, that he is actually out of knives. Um, he is. Ow. De- There's a lot of dead Federalis who uh, <laughs> who gave their life to empty him of his arsenal uh, on his way to prison. Um, I will look at Stabby McPoke Poke here. I'll pull out my bread knife. I'm like, now listen, I want this back. I want that 12 pack of Bush Apple and I need that pouch of Copenhagen like soon, please. What, what the like fuck said, is Bush Apple? It. It's apple flavored <laughs> bush. It I'm gonna was. need I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the executives at uh the Bush Anheuser Bush company to never Knock ever make a cider. <laughs> um he he looks up at you, looks at the knife in your hand, and is like, All right, stab me. But <laughs> fucking stab me, pussy. <laughs> I stab him. Uh, your knife sinks into his uh, flesh, and is for all absorbed. intended purposes, is gone for the moment. Like it, it just absorbs right into him. Yep, absorbs right Great. into him. He's like he's a little bit like Eat Man, except he doesn't have to eat stuff. <laughs> so, um, and then we have a, a is it like a private jet that we're standing in front of. Yep, in front of, and you can see the actual caravan. There are three cars. No, there's like four or five cars. Uh, a limousine. Care. Limousine and four cop cars pulling up to uh, to the uh, the airplane. Smashy, how long will it take for you to make three, uh, four flight attendant suits out of balloons? <laughs> Boys, <laughs> I already made the flight attendant suits. <laughs> let's let's yeah. roll for it. <laughs> Holy hell, you're amazing. <laughs> Six of them. All right, that's unless you're going to give me an extra point for the. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, uh, Max Booth just got an extra point of badass. Because <laughs> <laughs> that joke makes me so happy every time I hear it. That is three successes. Okay. Uh, you make three balloon suits, uh, uh, flight attendant suits. They are not, like, look, these are not good disguises. <laughs> they are balloon suits. <laughs> We're working with what we have. You are lucky that one guy had a fetish. <laughs> well, we don't know what Ted Ooze is into either, so. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll just... put on the flat attendant no, outfit. No, you know what? Ted Ooze is completely vanilla. He is not oh. into anything interesting. He gets well, limp as an oven fry unless it's missionary position. Yes. Uh, he is scared. Like, every other politician... 
banging hookers left and right. Te- te- Tedrick Ooze Tedrick is Ooze. terrified of any woman who is not contractually obligated through marriage to be with him. Does he does he call his wife mother? Uh, <laughs> can he ironically call his wife mommy? Yes. <laughs> uh, he doesn't get the connotation behind it. Yeah. <laughs> they just have kids and the kids call call her that, so he started calling her that too. Yeah. yeah well, it's like what I call I call about it mommy. <laughs> And she she is grossed out as hell. By, as they haven't slept together since the kids started speaking. <laughs> um, this is all true. Um, I have it on. I have it on. I have it on a VHS, which is a double feature with the piss tape. Jesus. <laughs> Oh. You, gotta, uh, you gotta lose that to our friend with the uh, godlike powers, man. That's uh, right. Yeah. Oh, I've already okay. got a copy of that on Betamax. <laughs> I have the on Laserdisc. Burnt on Laserdisc. Laser the Laserdisc is the preferred format because the audio quality is just phenomenal. But the problem is finding a working player. I mean, right. those part, they Dude, don't make them yeah. anymore. Um, the cars roll to a stop and Capos start getting out. Uh, you see Copo. them, they see you. Um, far be it from me to tell you guys what to do or how to do your thing, but now is the time to bring the mayhem. All right. Uh, you're in the Bahamas, right? <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> you're in a fucking gross you hit airport in like 90 oh, we need, we... sh- at night, <laughs> Louisiana, Texas border. Okay, for some reason, I was thinking we had already like skipped to us there in the Bahamas hunting down him. My bad. Uh, can I still call the Chupacabra to assist us? Uh, Chupacabras are native <laughs> to Texas, so yes. All right, I get out my my one hundred percent accurate Chupacabra whistle, and uh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. It, it's wood about yay long. It's got a metal like. <laughs> resistor that you slide down it <laughs> is that a slide whistle <laughs> no it's not a slide whistle fool it's a chupacabra call I, slide whistle what what kind of agent thinks this is a slide whistle <laughs> oh sorry my bad I, <laughs> how much more terrifying how much more terrifying would the chupacabra be if, like, you're out there attending to your goats or whatever, and you just hear this? <laughs> you gotta um, do it slower than that, or they won't come. Same, same. <laughs> um, Real talk. Do you? Do you? Do you want to roll conspiracy or stupid for this? <laughs> You know what? I no, was hoping to stack. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, this is a stupid conspiracy. Uh, but I do need you to explain to me. I do need you to explain to me. Leroy, I need you to explain to me why the Chupacabra is anti government. Well, haven't you seen the movie Species? I, yeah. Oh, wait. No, sorry. That's Charles's voice. I need Leroy's voice. Oh, let me get back to it a little bit. Well, listen, fool. Haven't you seen the movie Species? First of all, the government funded that entire project in the movie, which the Chupacabra might not have been directly derivative from that, but clearly the movie itself was derived from the existence of the Chupacabra. If you look at the similarities of the two creatures, they are remarkably similar to the point where I know that I have met a few people that may have tried to mate with the Chupacabra. <laughs> Uh-huh. And that is why the Chupacabra hates the government. <laughs> you know that that okay. ain't too far off. I mean, my daddy done fucked a demon, so I mean, Chupacabra. Now, 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 Kevin, I need to know the truth. Was it a demon or was it the Chupacabra? I, uh, demon. Oh. She's a demon lady. She's terrible. All right. Uh, God bless Texas. Is giving you a point of badass. God yes. bless Texas. And then oh, I need God. you to roll badass plus conspiracy <laughs> plus um plus uh what's Stupid. the other thing? Stupid. Stupidity, yes. It doesn't <laughs> matter. These are all the dice I have right now. 
Yes. 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 My dog is making sure and I'm okay nose. because I was laughing so hard. She's like, are you having a seizure? Four successes? Four successes. Okay. Um, there is an answering slide whistle. <laughs> 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 Um, and you hear you hear one of the cops go, "Oh shit, it's the Chupa cop!" Oh my god, <laughs> he just like drops his gun and runs. <laughs> just like, do you see the other cops like, "What the fuck is that guy doing?" Um, minute <laughs> seconds later, you hear you hear the sound of many running feet as a mommy chupacabra about the size of a horse. And I summoned the Chupacabra Queen. And her bibbies, uh, which are all, you know, bibbies, uh, rampage into the cloud of cops. I will Hell figure yes. out what they actually do. Um, Charles, do something. Uh, I think I'm doing the worm in front of the scene of Havoc <laughs> because... The, the spirits of anarchy and chaos are most pleased uh, by this display and uh yeah as sort of like a avatar of the of the trickster deity i'm yeah i i started popping and locking but when the when the wave of chupacabra showed up i'm just doing the worm you're doing nonstop. the worm okay yeah. uh roll me roll peter slapstick plus badass <laughs> yes i have a reason that's <laughs> all right off to a good start let's see Two, three, four. I'm already at four, and I'm not even through with my roll. There's another five. Yeah, I think it's five total. Okay. Uh, you start doing the worm uh, in in delight of uh, the chaos of Rampage, and uh, that causes the ground to shake, and <laughs> cops start slipping and falling <laughs> as they yeah. like try to run around and deal with the chupacabra menace. <laughs> um <laughs> The little ones, the little ones are about the size, of, like between pug size and uh, Shiba Inu size, and they're just latching on to cops and drinking, and cops nice. are falling on their asses. Guns are being discharged randomly. <laughs> Kevin, what? Uh, chicken, <laughs> chicken liver, what you got? <laughs> That's another badass point. Um, so I'm gonna see this stampede <laughs> of uh, chupacabras, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna mm -hmm. see uh, Smashy uh, doing the worm over here, shaking everybody around. Now I'm just gonna scream, stampede! and I'm gonna uh, bamf up to the, one of the cops, and once I get in front of him, I go crack chop, and then chop him right in the neck. And I'm <laughs> use, use my street fighting and my teleport. Uh, I'm gonna give you a point of badass. God, fuck yeah. Um, saying karate chop as you do yeah. it is saying, saying karate chop is high big brain activity <laughs> karate chop. Go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll. so two and three and another two oh, All right. Shit. oh fuck um i only got one one and everything was a four and above so that's one two nice. three that's six six x's okay um yeah you uh you you uh, you bamf in front of this cop who's just like like he is like swiveling around trying to get a beat on a chupacabra. Uh, you bam in front of him. He looks at you with like big wide. What the fuck is happening, guys? And then you karate chop his head queen off. Yeah! Yeah! And I'm just gonna hold the pose for just entirely too long, make sure everyone saw it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dang. All right, cool. Um cool. Um not that any of you notice. Because uh, y'all are all busy doing your own thing, but uh, Stabberger pushes himself off the uh, the the side of the on ramp and starts kind of like limping towards uh, the group of cops, uh, towards the middle of it, towards the limousine. Um, he is he is seething with rage, um, but like kind of always is. <laughs> so uh, that's what you got. Uh, Stabberger is will make his approach over the next turn. Um, I need. I, I'm not even gonna give specifics. Each of you make a badass roll. Uh, All right. 
That's just one guy. Or, okay. Yeah. Whatever you're. You should have two now, Kevin. Yes. Okay. Uh, six and a four. Nice. Uh, only two successes. Okay. What about you, Paschke? Yeah, you know, I'm back on my my bad streak here. Oh. I got, got the one success. All right. Uh, Charles and Paschke uh, lose a point of badass, gain a point of hate. That's two on uh, hate. Oh, wow. That's uh, two on badass. There is still chaos, but they are starting to get their feet. Uh, obviously, y'all were hit by stray bullets. Uh, I should. <laughs> Whoa. Where did that die go? There's. Nope. That die <laughs> is dead to me now. We didn't like uh, that one, anyways. Okay. Uh, Stabberger has not been hit, which is good because he's on death's door. <laughs> um, and Paschke, it's your turn again. All right. Uh, so now that I have summoned the Chupacabra Queen and all of her children, uh, I still have that gun, right? <laughs> uh, unless you threw it away. No, no, I would not throw away a perfectly good gun uh, with my fingerprints on it. I mean, that's just that's given fair. the government. That's, that's just smart. Something mm -hmm. to frame me with. I might as well commit the crime. Hold, if on, they're hold, gonna... on, hold on, right? Frame me for the murder you committed. <laughs> At least I believe you did shoot the man in the head for shits and giggles. As I was trying to say, if I'm going to be like committed for something, I might as well actually do it. <laughs> it's always so, been my mom. I I try to kneecap uh the the governor or uh the, the our, our our not Ted Cruz, whatever not not his name was uh, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. You know, just like uh the garbage pills kid card. Yeah. <laughs> uh so I I pull out I pull out the gun and I uh I think to myself I'm like you know, uh, it would really be nice if I had the clarity and guidance of the, the fairy folk that live in every rock <laughs> around us. <laughs> then I start looking for a rock. Fuck it. And then I just aim and shoot because we're in an airport. There aren't going to be. Yeah. Rocks. Fairies wouldn't live here. Uh, Go ahead and go ahead and roll me your badass. Or I could take a hatred. Mm. And roll your badass, cat. and then you can add your hatred. All right, fine. I'll play it your way, tyrant. Five, and I get one more. Six. Okay. So, and so you're, so you're just shooting at Tedric. I want to kneecap Tedric so he can't run away. Lovely. Don't we all. Oh, boy, howdy. Um. Every time I get an email from Aircot uh, telling me that they need me not to use as much energy, uh, I really want to kneecap that motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, yeah, you, uh, you, you. There's a lot of knees getting shot this evening, uh, yeah. and I'm here mm -hmm. for it. Uh, Tedrick, Tedrick lets out a a whine that is everyone within like a mile radius feels less like like feels like the world is just a little less good like no my knee <laughs> um, oh yeah do dogs, ooh, dogs ooh. start barking for like yeah. you know dogs two miles become, around yeah. dogs become women children babies start crying <laughs> dogs become women <laughs> it's embarrassing <laughs> okay I, I, heard, I heard i heard what heard, bernard heard. heard as well <laughs> same same <laughs> Uh, so in, in the world of Splatter League, all women are werewolves. <laughs> That's how I uh, met my wife. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, you have you have shot Ted Ooze in the leg, uh, and I'm like a big part of me just wants to give like a point, a badass point for shooting Ted Ooze in the knee, just because it makes me happy. Uh -huh. uh, so I do take a point no, back. All right, <laughs> back up to um, three. Charles, <laughs> are you going to continue doing the worm, or you got something else up your big fluffy sleeve? Oh, I've got something up these these clowny sleeves of mine. Um, in particular, I it's been a minute since I've thrown a pie. Uh, so I think that I am going to throw a pie made of. Let's see, 
Oh, let's just say it's a concrete pie at Ted Ooze, uh at distance and see if I can <laughs> smack him in his dumbass fucking head. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's, let's see, pie throwing plus badass. For... Okay, so that's one, two. All right, and I'm going to take a hatred and make that another success for three successes. All right. Okay. Um yeah, you uh you you throw that pie and it sails over the heads of cops and <laughs> and nails Teddy right in the head. Um Hell yeah. No. He squeals <laughs> uh, as he he drops down. Like he was on like one, his good knee and his hands and now he's just kind of like laying playing dazed in the middle of the chaos. Dazed and bleeding. Yep. Uh, Kevin? Uh, well, uh, Chicken Liver is going to hop into the, the SUV. Uh, that's where, you know, he chopped the, the cop's head yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, sure. And he's going to kick it into gear, grab one of the little baby cheap cobbers and they throw it in there because, you know, that's <laughs> fun. And he's going to start doing donuts <laughs> and hopefully trying to whip <laughs> the ass end of this SUV and catch uh, Ted Cruz. And if he does, kind of just... <laughs> right through the... Yeah. And just, I just, need you to I need you to take a point of badass. <laughs> Fucking so, ducks everywhere. Yeah, so yeah doing, doing donuts, donuts a cloud of yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. It was very very good. Uh, and then go ahead and roll badass. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> um, two successes. Okay. A four and a six. Uh, I'm gonna let you kill some some of these cops, but I'm not gonna let you kill off uh, Teddy with that roll. Okay. Do I clip uh, him at least, or do I not even touch no, him? No, you don't. You okay. can't. Here's the thing: you don't know how to drive. No, no. I got my license <laughs> yeah. suspended when I was like 14. Then they weren't even supposed to give it to me then to begin yeah. with. Yeah. Hey, why doesn't the guy who can teleport drive anywhere? <laughs> don't need to, sons of bitches. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> What was your bail set at? Oh, bamf. <laughs> <laughs> About three hundred. Yeah. But the good news, the good news is you don't need to drive super good to drive into a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, question: Do you hand a uh, container of skull and a natty light to your chupacabra friend? Well, goddamn right <laughs> I do. This is my little buddy now. Hell yes. <laughs> um. As 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 y'all as y'all are doing your thing, um, you have incapacitated Ted Cruz. Sorry, Ted Ooze. <laughs> Tedrick Ooze. Tedrick Ooze. Tedrick Ooze. Uh, Ooze. Completely, he's not going anywhere. The cop, well, the, the cops can't deal with the carnage of the car doing sloppy donuts, which is my nickname in high school. Uh, they can't deal with the chupacabras and all the chaos going on but you know who can the john statberger yep uh he walks through the the crowd and uh and gets stands beside the the moaning whimpering pile that is a texas politician looks left looks right nods and then reaches down, picks him up, and holds him out in front of the donutting car. Uh, <laughs> it's like um, an alley oop. I love it. Yeah, alley oop. Uh, <laughs> and as you're doing, as he's just doing do donuts, you think, "Oh shit, I'm going to hit Stab Burger because I'm doing crazy ass donuts." But it's just, well, let me roll. <laughs> and he's dead. no. Uh, <laughs> I take them both out. You take them both out of the knees. Uh, <laughs> you come within like an inch of Stabby as you just whip the car through Ted Cruz's Ted Cruz's <laughs> <laughs> quivering, quivering now corpse. Love it. Um, Job well done, everybody. Very yeah. nice. You solved by Texas how to deal with Texas politicians riddle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Through extreme violence. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and I somehow, still would have been alive if it weren't for you meddling kids. Somehow you all escape. Um, gain, a, gain a final point of badass. Nice. Do I escape with the baby chupacabra? Hell Only yeah, if, he's your little buddy. 
Only if yeah. you make nice He's with the mama. I mean, he, the, the baby's well, addicted to, to chew now. So, I mean, the mom would probably, A, not like the smell. Got to get rid of that one. True. Uh, yeah. And B, it's now dependent on you to supply it. I believe Which it's, shawl, it's, it's imparted on me. Goat blood. <laughs> <laughs> the good diet of any mythical monster is chaw, goat blood, and rum. Um, <clears throat> that's not actually a joke. Friends, this has been <laughs> Splatter League. Um, uh. I it has been a while since I laughed that hard. <laughs> Magda, you, you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget the starter is still kicking for this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep, I backed so, it. Can't wait yes, to have it. Thank you so much. And uh, for all of you, uh, welcome to the Splatter League is currently on Kickstarter uh, for about one more week. Uh, the cover was created by Don Noble. And Simone Tometa did most of the interior art. Uh, we are currently about one backer away from getting some new Luke Spooner art inside the book, which I'm really excited about. Um, and we're just going to keep going. Um, I spoke to one of the uh, super, uh, supreme villain backers the other day and have gotten their villain uh, added to the, the book. And Simone has done the art. And I can't wait for you guys to meet Stig Ugh. Martyr. Um, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> it's very, very good, y'all. Um, so please, 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 if you are at all interested, the PDF version is only 10 bucks, uh, which is the price can't of a it. coffee at some of the places here in Austin. Um, so please consider picking it up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's just the first game uh, using the badass factor system that we're building at madness Art press so uh good to get in on it now a couple of other things um first and foremost you should pick up he led us into the wilderness and spoke to us by charles r bernard um let me sell this to you real quick by saying it is cosmic horror meets jonestown and I don't mean Jonestown S. I don't mean a random ass cold and calling it Jonestown. I mean Jonestown cult. Jim Jones, the cult, mm -hmm. Cosmic Core. You want this fucking book. Art also, a uh, cover art also by Simone. Yeah, uh, nice. It looks great. It reads great. It's a great book. Um, you should also check out another podcast. I am loathe. I am loathe to recommend actual play podcasts to people. Um, but this one rocks. It's oh. Flail to the Face. Oh, uh, starring our very own Kevin Welch, and by our very own, like I think, I think you, I think you qualify. I've, yeah, you've I've been you've been it. on nearly as many of these shows as I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a great it's a great actual play podcast. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's all Morkborg, and uh, Kevin has been playing Odd Gobs. Uh, third party content created by Madness Heart Games. We've lost Charles for a half second. That was scary. I was yep, very I'm lonely. Back. Um, I'm back. <laughs> and maybe I'm uh, gone again. I don't know. Nope, you're here. I can hear you. Yep. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Uh, this month we also had. Oh, that's so he's gone again. Oh my god. You're I'm having so many emotions right now, Charles. <laughs> I'm just um, going to peace out so that I don't keep fucking with things. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, um, viewers at home. Uh, Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, we have a couple more books from Madness Heart Press. Uh, Charwood came out last week. Or no, Charwood came out like Monday or Sunday. Yeah, Monday this week. So it's freshly out. That's Jewish Eco Horror. Uh, Blade Job, Wrestling, uh, Blood... A ritual time travel horror by Lucas Mangum, who's one of the best splatterpunks in the fucking business, and a new book by myself. All I want is to take shrooms and listen to the color of Nazi screams. Is out now on Amazon. Uh, uh, it is a mostly fictionalized autobiography. Um, I really hope you like it. it. I worked hard on it, and it's probably the most John Baldisberger book I will ever write. Nice. And, uh, oh, this is new, um, brand new. We are coming out with a coloring book. 
that coloring Ooh. book is the last five minutes of the human race by michael allen rose and jim agpalza that will be out september 1st uh so lots of fun stuff we'll have the pre-order for that up in the next day or two on manisheart.press everyone thank you so much for joining us on this consensual journey we call wandering monster i have been john baldisberger well there was a charles r bernard yeah he was there was there. Uh, I I'm still Kevin Welch, and I'm Mr. Paschke. We will be back next week, um, but don't fret. Until then, chicken liver knows a shortcut, and that shortcut is bam, baby, bam, bam. bam. bam.